so today i'm going to show you guys the easiest and the fastest way to animate clothes inside of photoshop and after effects the first step will be to isolate the parts with photoshop and the second step will be to actually animate the different parts with after effects and also just a little reminder that i have a website that will allow you to make super stunning visualizers there's three models that you can get there's fire overlays that you can also get and there's also a plugin that will allow you to create easy parallax animations so don't hesitate to get the bundle because the deal won't last forever so let's get back in photoshop so the first step is to simply separate every single part of the clothing and i'll start with the mouthpiece so i'm just gonna select the pen tool and i'll start drawing all over this mouthpiece Once this is done, you're gonna have to click on selection. Then you're gonna have to click on OK to make a selection. Then simply cl click on Ctrl C, then Ctrl V to copy it into another layer. And now, as you can see, we perfectly isolated this part right there. So now what we're gonna do is simply do the same for the other part of the clothing. So with my pen tool, I'm gonna select the cape. Now just turn the mask into a selection, click on OK, then copy and paste the cape into another layer. And then what I'm gonna do is simply do the same but with these ropes right there. So it's basically the same process all over again. So by now you should know the drill. Click on selection, click on OK, then copy and paste it to another layer. So basically just do that for every part of the clothing. Now every part of the clothing of this character has been selected and separated. The only thing I need to do now is to simply clean up every single part. So I'm just gonna select the part that is overlapping with another section. Then I'm going to click on generate to fill, click on generate, and this is going to clean it up for you. And then we're going to do the same thing for every single other piece of clothing that we have separated. So just make a selection to the overlapping parts and then click on generate to fill, click on generate, and that's it. Now I'm simply going to make sure that all of my layers are positioned the correct way. So I'm going to put my ropes over the cape. And now the final thing to do is to simply remove the, the brown clothing from her. So I'm going to start with the ropes. I'm going to select these ropes right there and then I'm going to click on generate to fill, click on generate and this is going to remove the ropes from the original picture. Now I'm going to do that with a cape and the mouthpiece so just simply make a huge selection. Once this is done you're going to have to click on generate to fill then you're going to have to write something. You're going to have to write remove the brown clothing. It will help the AI understand what you want better. Now if it will give you something similar to this. So as you can see, every single one of our layers are separated. Now what we're going to do is simply up inside of After Effects and we can start animating. After you imported your Photoshop file inside of After Effects, you're going to click on the composition. Then you'll see all of the layers that you created earlier. Now you're going to isolate one piece of clothing to animate it. So you're going to click on that. Now you're going to grab the Puppet Pin tool. And what you're going to do is create some pins all over the rope. Once this is done, what you're going to have to do is simply click on File. Then you're gonna click on script. Then you're gonna, you're gonna select hair rig. This is a free script. The link will be in my description. Now you'll have to click on run and just wait until it do the thing. And as you can see now, the cloth has been fully animated. Now I'm simply gonna clean up my layer tab. So control A, then you're gonna click on hue twice. And I'm gonna do the same for the other rope. Select the puppet pin tool and add some pins to the rope and then simply run the script into this piece of clothing. And as you may notice, you can also change the amplitude and the speed of the motion of the clothing simply by going to the FX control panel and simply playing around with the amplitude and the magnitude settings. Now I'm going to unhide the rest of okay. the layers and I'm simply going to do this for the cape. But before that, just take a look on how smooth the animation is already is. It's pretty nice and we haven't done anything too crazy. So now we're going to animate the cape. And it's basically the same process, just add some pins and just run the script into the layer. So now the cape is also moving with the rest, everything is smooth. So now what I'm going to do is simply also animate the mouthpiece. When, with that I'm going to simply search for a turbulence displace effect. Now simply apply the effect to the mouthpiece. Now what you're going to have to do is simply play around with the scale and the distortion. Now what you're gonna have to do is to simply click on the evolution lock right there to add a keyframe at the beginning of your timeline. And then you're gonna have to go to at the end of the timeline and you're just gonna have to go crazy with the evolution. Now what you're gonna do is to simply copy this effect and put it into the cape layer so that the cape can also have this turbulence kind of effect. And with that being done, we can replay the animation and see how it all looks. And as you can see, it's pretty clean. It's pretty nice, but the motion is way too slow so to fix that what i'm going to do is to simply select one of the ropes and simply change its amplitude 
in the frequency to make something a little bit more aggressive so as you can see i'm just cranking up the settings like these now this is a bit too much i'm gonna put it down a little bit i think this is perfect so all i'm gonna do is to simply play it back to c and yes i like that very much so i'm gonna do the same with the other rope so i'll select the layer of the other rope and i'm simply gonna crank up the amplitude like this and now if i play everything back it's supposed to be a, li a little bit more expressive and yeah definitely i like this a lot more so we basically animated the whole thing it was super easy and fast to do and this is only the tip of the iceberg when we're talking about character animations if you want to know more about it don't hesitate to follow me to subscribe to my youtube channel leave a like to never miss any videos like this anymore i'll see you guys in another video ciao